really that good yeah, compared to Rafa's. Ooh, Rafa's really tearing apart with that LG. Yeah, yeah great work. Four to one. Yeah. Yeah, Rafa's shooting a 55% rail. 24 LG and 26 rocket. Uh, and I would say that Rafa has also had the bonus of being able to do more initial damage to his opponent uh, in probably 70 something percent of the fight. Rafa gets that first hit. And uh, that can really set the tone of how the rest of the battle is going to go. A little bit of Pixel pull dance in there by uh, Gelsack. <laughs> yeah. Pixel perfect real by Rafa. Rafa yeah, that was a really nice real shot. Oh, was that a hiccup on the Rafa side? Uh, it was smooth for me, I'm okay. But uh, I, I will say this though, um, Rafa is reading Gelsack extremely well. Read his move into the LG and able to stop him there and do a bit of damage. So. Five to one. Let's go take a look at Gelasak. We've been watching Rafa for the first six minutes or so. Uh, red. Wow. Gelasak's actually there, thinking Red is going to be there. Rafa just hanging out. Has the upper position. Easy grab for Red. A little bit of damage done, but Gelasak's going to need to exit this room without taking a rail. And he does so. Red is up, and it's his. Rafa coming in just a second too late. Gelasak looking for an exit. Will take teleporter. Rafa not waiting with a rail. But has a rocket in store. Whoops. There goes a bit of that armor. Oh, what a shame that Gelasak was not in position to uh, get a second rocket shot off on Rafa as the first one popped him in place. Gelasak will go down again. Rafa gets it done. Mega is up. Rafa looking to do damage on the Mega Jump. Moves aggressively into the room. Hits the one shot. Does not hit the second, but we'll be able to get back to red in plenty of time. Gelasak getting too aggressive here, I think. Should back away. He does so smartly. And um, now here's the hard part. He's wrapping his armor, and Gelasak doesn't. There it is. Uh, armor wins. Yeah. I mean, Rafa's oh, only shooting at 23% LG. You know, it's not flawless by any means. He's really, uh, his weapon choice is amazing, too. I mean, like, he's using all the right weapons when he needs to. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's very comfortable with what oh, he's doing. Nice. He knows every situation. Yeah. He knows how to use the weapon to make it an advantage. Red is coming up, and Gelsack yeah, takes it, but it's going to cost him his life. Yeah, oh. that was actually quite nice. 19% overall, but uh, I think in that exchange, it was pretty damn sweet. Nine to one is the score with two minutes remaining. Gelsack struggling on T7. Rafa is showing us that no matter if you pick what might be your second favorite map or something like that, uh, Rafa can take you on it. 50% rail for Rafa right now. 37 for Gelasan. 32 LZ for Gelasan. Rafa's at 23% with it. So let's watch uh, Gelasan for just a second here. We're going to go back over to Rafa in a minute. I want to see if he can put together a couple of frags, try to kind of recover mentally from this uh, currently nine frag lead that Rafa enjoys. Every item is up on the map right now. That, that's that's amazing. Uh, Mega Health Chest Grab and Art Ray. Well, I, I, I want to say every item up was up for almost about 10 seconds. That's uh, pretty crazy. I, I think that's Rafa just, you know, being a sport. You want him to have one last really good fight, just like that, you know? So, and it, honestly, you know, I, I have yet to to catch the, uh, I'm sure at some point we'll finally get the Inquirer scoop on Rafa, but the guy just seems like nice for some god-awful reason in this internet age. He's managed to be this um, anomaly of a fairly nice guy. <laughs> He's very serious about what he does, but 
you know, he doesn't crap on you if you're not quite at his caliber. Which I really enjoy. Nice drop shot rail by Rafa to round us out as we hit the 10 minute mark. And the accuracy wise, 42% rail for Rafa. Dropped just a little bit towards the end. He's got a little bit of uh, fun shots in there. Four impressives for Rafa. Galashak with two. We head off to. Uh, shoot, where was it? DM6? Where was it? Yeah, they tossed uh, ZTN and DM13, so. I didn't see the second pick. I'm it's pretty sure it's be DM6. DM6. Okay. Yeah, so there's a little bit of a discussion there. Galasak saying, I must have had you low. And Rafa's like, yeah, in the first three minutes you did, but uh, there were times where you thought I was low, but I may have been on health, but I had lots of armor. So. Vote passed. Once again, beautiful uh, sportsmanship displayed by Rafa, talking with his opponent. Making sure that, uh, you know, there's an understanding of how that situation really went, because that actually could be really useful information for Gillisat. And, um, here we go. DM6, Rafa, and Gillisat getting it on. Camp grounds Gillisat, gets LG straight to Mega. Rafa not doing any damage. Not expecting the jump pad play, Galsack gets a little bit of a tickle at the end there. And Rafa is now back up at 100-100 and uh, waiting on the LG. Nice little steal by Galsack. That's just a little bit of a delay, but that can be pretty huge because now Galsack has the better positioning for this red as he gives it up for Railgun, which he used pretty effectively. Nice. Great initial shot. That was a really nice rail. <laughs> yeah, nice read by Rafa though getting out there without getting any more damage against him. Zero to zero. Mega taken by Gelsack and no damage done by Rafa. So Rafa's got to be thinking, okay, I haven't really done any damage against my opponent. Um, but Gelsack's not getting any of the items. Like that, you know, that, that's kind of the key thing. Um, there's no control won by Gelsack. Now the main thing for a few seconds was that Gelsack had a rail. Rafa did not. But that has changed. And Rafa, who's managed to survive for the first minute, now almost has full control. Might get it right here. Going in for the kill. Does get stuffed into the corner though, eating a lot of rocket damage. And we'll come back out and try to do a little bit more damage against this Mega Health. And he will survive it. Six health as he picks up that Mega LG for the finisher. And Rafa will maybe get this red as well. He's got to finish the kill quickly, and he does so. And that is now 2-0. And I think we're about to see the pendulum get stuck. <laughs> Because Rafa is looking pretty fit here. Ooh, misses two rail shots on the gel sack there. Hmm. Nah, it's interesting because the RA and Mega Health are spawning pretty quick. Oh, nice rocket jump. Ooh. That was a really nice play by Rafa. Gelsack shards up. Red is in five. Gail is waiting in center like Mega is going to spawn. Rafa is thinking, hmm, free stuff. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, extending his lead four to zero. Gelsack's movement is just like... Oh man, I don't know if he's given up or... Eh. I mean, DM6 shouldn't be the scariest place to play Rafa, but I guess yeah. any map is scary to play against Rafa. Uh oh, nice LG, but Rafa has just enough to survive about 60 health as he does so. Gelsack's like, I know there's a mega health on this map. I, I saw it earlier. <laughs> nice rail. Both of them. Great rails. And they can both hear the rail gun hums. They're like, wait, which way is he going? Which way is he going? <laughs> it's pretty funny. 
We had a little bit of a Mexican standoff.